GOP Senator schools NBC's Christian Welker over Biden's weaponized DOJ. He says, has to be accountability for these kinds of abuses. And I agree. You think you could just disregard the Constitution, um, weaponize the DOJ, who's supposed to be nonpartisan, and, and get away with it? I definitely agree with, um, with them. It has to be some form of, of accountability. I mean, look at everything that this DOJ has done. I mean, it went after uh, uh, Catholics. You know, they call normal parents that was concerned about their children, terrorists. I mean, it was just disgusting. So we're going to play the clip. We're going to talk about it. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my ex account. So follow me there as well. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into this news now. This comes from um, InfoWars from Jamie White. And they report that Senator Eric Smith shut down NBC anchor Kristen Welker's defense of Joe Biden's weaponized Justice Department on Sunday, arguing there must be accountability for its abuses against political rivals. The Meet the Press host tried to spin President-elect Donald Trump's nomination of Florida Attorney General Pam, um, Pam Bondi for U.S. Attorney General as evidence the Trump administration is preparing to abuse its authority to persecute Democrats. Like, what evidence do you have of that just because uh, she, uh, um, he, he, uh, he wanted her to, um, to, uh, to be in the administration? Like, why would you think that would be a, abuse of authority? I mean, I mean, there's no logic behind that. What, what evidence do you have of that? They're just saying these things because they know that she's going to put in the work and, and, and try to uh, take down this corrupt DOJ. That's why. But let's play this clip. Attorney General Bondi has vowed to, quote, investigate the investigators to prosecute the prosecutors. A different tone than you have struck, Senator. You've said that the DOJ should be, quote, going back to fighting crime and not settling political scores. How do you square those two different views? Well, I will tell you that, that Pam Bondi has a track record. She's a very serious person. And I think she's seen the weaponization. Everybody's seen this weaponization of the Justice Department over Absolutely. the last four years. It really is a tragedy for a once respected agency uh, that has gone after Catholics. It's gone say. after parents who showed up to school board meetings under the yep. auspices of the Patriot Act. It, this is in the United States of America. And then clearly weaponized that department, Joe Biden did, and Merrick Garland, to go after their chief political opponent. And I'll tell you, Chris, Kristen, the arc of that story is really terrifying if you care about the republic. After the midterms, Joe Biden said uh, that there was no way President Trump would ever be back in the White House. After that speech, these zombie cases were resurrected. The number three person from DOJ went to New York, and you had the Alvin Bragg case. The number two prosecutor in Atlanta went to the White House and coordinated. You saw all these cases resurrected. They all fell apart under the weight of the law. And so I do think there needs to be accountability. I think that getting it back to crime fighting is important, but there has to be accountability for these kinds of abuses. Okay, what specific- Absolutely right, because if there's no accountability, they'll continue to do to do that. They'll continue to abuse their power. They will continue to be um, um, to be politicized and used against anyone that's antithetical to um, um, uh, to whoever's running that um, to whoever's running the, um, the Democratic Party, which is just ridiculous. That's not what the um, DOJ is there for. The DOJ is to protect the American people and their rights, not to spy on them, not to set them up, not to abuse um, the Constitution. That's not what they're there for. Specifically, does accountability look like, Senator? Are you suggesting you want to see special counsel Jack Smith, Attorney General Merrick Garland prosecuted? Is that what you are implying? Well, no, I think accountability means first and foremost, the people involved in this should be fired immediately. Um, and anybody part of this uh, um, this effort to keep President Trump off the ballot and to throw him in jail for the rest of his life because they didn't like his politics and right. to continue to cast him as a quote unquote threat to democracy was wrong. And yeah. so we'll see where that goes. But I just don't think in this country, unless we want to be a banana republic, I don't want to see that happen. You can't have uh, the Justice Department abused in this way. Pam Bondi is a smart, capable, tough person who I think is going to restore respect in that department. So she has your vote, Senator? 
Oh, absolutely. I intend to to help Pam Bondi uh, get the votes. I know her well. Um, she's a friend. Uh, I've come to respect Pam Bondi. She was a great attorney general in Florida. It, this is a home run by President Trump. Absolutely. And that's what they're afraid of. They are afraid. They know that Trump is going to go in and clean house and try to get rid of these corrupt um, um, bureaucrats. But um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and check out JJ the Psychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.